What for you was the most important difference that you identified tonight uh, between yourself, a former Republican, and Mike Lee, a current Republican, in this debate? Well, I would say just two things. Number one, Senator Lee is uh, he's somebody who embodies the politics of division and extremism that I think now plague our politics and now prevent us from uh, solving major problems that the country faces, whether it's inflation or high cost of health care or protecting our air and water. He just refuses to work with with you know, most senators to get things done. And, you know, he's even attacking Senator Romney, our other senator on cable television, rather than working with him to get uh, things done for Utah and for the country. I won't do that. I'll work across party lines as an independent uh, and certainly uh, I'll work closely with, with our other senator here, Senator Romney. Uh, the other thing is, is that I think it's very clear between Senator Lee and I that I'm committed to defending the Constitution. I've sworn an oath as a young CIA officer to defend the Constitution and risked my life more times, frankly, than I can remember to fulfill that oath. Senator Lee did something very different. He took that oath as a senator and, and then tried to topple American democracy by recruiting fake electors and misleading tens of millions of Americans about the legitimacy of the 2020 election. And I do believe that that is one of the, if not the most egregious betrayals of the Constitution of any senator in quite some time. And so it's important that we hold them accountable. Uh, senator Lee is one of those senators, he's not the first one I've seen, uh, who carries a Constitution uh, pocket size around uh, in his pocket. Uh, that came up in tonight's debate. Let's take a look at that. It is a betrayal of the American Republic you were there to stand up for our, converse, uh, for our Constitution. But when the barbarians were at the gate, you were happy to let them in. There were people who behaved very badly on that day. I was not one of them. I was one of the people trying to dismantle this situation, trying to stop it from happening. Because I believe in this document... Senator Lee has been doing this thing with his pocket Constitution for the last several years. Senator Lee, it is not a prop. It is not a prop. Please. Senator Lee, the Constitution is not a prop for you to wave about, and then when it's convenient for your pursuit of power, to abandon without a thought. I have to say, this, uh, this debate has uh, centered more uh, on what happened uh, on January 6th than any other Senate debate I have seen so far. Uh, is this still uh, a, a, an area that Utah voters are concerned about? Well, it is. There are many other issues as well. But the, the reality is, Lawrence, that and what I'm saying on the campaign trail and what I believe in my heart is that we cannot overcome any of the major challenges we face as a country if we don't have a system of self-government. You know, I served in the CIA for over a decade overseas undercover. I worked and lived in countries controlled by dictators. They don't solve problems for people. They're about empowering and enriching themselves. And we're at a crossroads as a nation. There's a movement in this country, and Senator Lee is a leader in it, that wants to dismantle American democracy. They've already tried. They will not stop. And we have to build a coalition of Republicans, Democrats, and independents to stand up to it. And that's what my campaign is doing. And that's why I invite everyone to join us at evanmcmullen.com. We will only save our democracy if we can build a sustainable majority, a cross-partisan coalition of those who still believe in it. And Senator Lee is, is part of the effort to tear it down. And we're not going to lower inflation. We're not going to get, uh, we're not going to protect our air and water. We're not going to bring down healthcare prices and, and, and get affordable prescription drugs. We're not gonna do any of that until we have a functioning system of self-government and so I, I bring those things together. I think they're related, those kitchen table issues that Utahns care so much about and the health of our system of self-government, which, by the way, they do also care about that. But I think it's important to bring those two things together because you can't separate them. Uh, you reminded uh, me and Mike Lee of something. Uh, it's, it's astonishing that there's been so much news in the last few years that we could forget something like this. He actually voted for you for president as an independent candidate in 2016 because he did not approve of Donald Trump then. That's how far he has come. That's right. Well, Senator Lee urged me to run against Trump in 2016. He called Trump on Trump to get out of the race after the Access Hollywood tape leaked. And then he voted for me on Election Day. But four years later, what did he do? He was willing to help Trump despite the will of the people having lost an election to try to stay in power. 
It would have spelled the end of the American Republic, but that's what Senator Lee was willing to do. And along the way, it's a, an issue that's important to, to many Utahns, to most Utahns, in fact. Senator Lee compared Donald Trump to a revered figure in the Book of Mormon known as Captain Moroni. And, and it just shows how far Senator Lee went. You know, he, he really has lost his way in Washington because he's one of these people there who are pursuing power at, at, at any cost. I mean, Senator Lee has proven that he will say anything and he will do anything in order to hold on to power. And, and we've got to hold these kinds of, of leaders accountable before we're unable to.